G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. Rightio, I'm gonna do another cross with wings. Uh, thank you so much for all your lovely comments from the previous one I made, this one, the golden black one. And I had a lot and a lot, a lot, a lot of people saying I'd love to see white or blue and silver. So I had that in my mind as well that I wanted to do that color scheme. So today is the day. So what I thought I would do, uh, actually I'll show you these again. See these little baubles on the ends? Um, I used a big thick marker and I kind of made it a bit messy, but it looks kind of crackled and aged and sort of antique, but I'm gonna have a, a go at doing those maybe a little bit better this time around. I'm going to use this smaller nibbed pen. It's the Deco Color Silver. It's got a smaller nib. I did one just before just to sort of test it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these little, these little baubles on the ends, but I'm not going to take it through. So I'm just going to do that. Much easier with a smaller, smaller nib. Whoops, and that's up to you. That one's dry already. So. Uh, up to you, like how far up you want to come. Making a mess of it already. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the little baubles in in the silver, and then that's better. And then I'm going to mix up some resin, and I'm going to use this sort of dark silvery color. It's by Arteza and it's called Space Gray. So that's going to be for the cross. If you saw me do this one, what I did was I dusted everything with mica powder and then I poured the, the black because the where the black goes into the cross it's lower. Um, but I did worry about overflow when I was dusting that it was going to get in there. So this time I'm just going to do my silver. I'm going to fill up the cross with the, the dark grey and then I'm going to let that cure. And then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to dust the wings. Because I want to then, after I've dusted the wings, then I want to pour over uh, white resin. So is that all clear as mud? a couple more up here get those done so we'll finish these off there's these two up here there's quite a few in there there's those two down there but I think what I'll do is I might turn it around so I can reach those ones a bit better I shouldn't take me long I'll just I'll just finish them hey so I'm just going around, as you can see, just doing the little base there in the silver. If you go over, like if you end up doing an area with the silver that you didn't particularly want, you can just go over it with a baby wipe. I think I've gone, oh no, it hasn't. All right, let me just turn that around so I can see what I'm doing down here. And then I will put you on pause while I mix up some resin and I'll come back and pour that dark greyish silver in. I didn't want to do silver silver um, because I wanted to, this to sort of stand out. So there we go. All right, I'll turn it back around. <laughs> and uh, I'll go and mix up some resin. I don't need a lot. It's just for this whatever's black here um, and then I'll, I'll come back so yep back in a sec righto so I mixed up um, I'm using the platinum 360 plus and I mixed up 75 grams of A and 32 grams of B so that's 107 grams so Mm, it's about three and a half ounces and we'll see how much I need because I don't actually know how much I'm going to need just for the cross so here we go let's pop some of that in and I just want to make sure I'm not going to make it like too too heavy or dark I'm just going to add a little bit at a time and see what color I like 
I just thought it would look nice with that steel grey sort of a colour, a bit of a sheen to it. Especially next to this silver, little silver baubles. Mm, it's a bit transparent, okay. The colour's good but it's, it's a bit transparent, so I'll just add another little blob and hopefully that will be okay. So that's it there. And then what I was thinking, I'll just talk to you while I'm stirring this. Can you see down this lower section there's those longer sort of feathers there? I thought I'd do those in, in, in a blue, just a pale blue, and then the rest of it I'll do in my white. What do you think? I think that should look pretty. Whoops, now I've got some mica in there. <laughs> I'll have to get that out. Make sure that you're stirring your mica well away from your mould because you don't want to get grey mica where you're going to paint or dust. White angel wings, hey. Now look, this mould isn't for everybody, you know. Obviously there's people that would appreciate this sort of mould more than others. So I just thought it was really pretty and you know, those, like I said, those that want it will, will like it and those that don't, will don't. So that's fine. Not going to please everybody. Um, now, all right, here we go. Let's pour. Let's pour. Should have put this, oh gosh, okay, hang on. I haven't got a little paper cup anywhere. No, it's in the other room. Okay, oh no, I'm going to have to go and get one. Hang on. easy to use because they've got um, you know you can you can pinch the edge just don't make it too full rather come back and do two coats because if you make it too full it'll all just sort of drip down the sides right here we go this is the fun part I start in here where it's the the deepest and I'll just follow this around whoops <laughs> oh, going out of the lines already it's like a kid you know you're in the coloring book stay in the lines I'll stay in the lines as best as I can all right so you're just going to make sure that you don't go too deep here and go over your feathers because that's not what you want to do And you will need to just make sure that your bench is really nice and level. Resin will soon tell you if it's not level. And then you can just put a pop stick or something under one side. I like to use, under here I've got um, like a piece of wood because I can easily pop a pop stick under part of it if I need to. I've got two pop sticks up under this this side here because <laughs> my floor's not level in my old garage. Normally I only have one though, but I put two under there and now I'm thinking I don't know if I need two, but we'll see how this goes. If it all kind of runs down, I'll actually I'll go back to one. I don't know why I put two on. I had two on the other day. Oh, there we go. I put one. Just need one. Alright, let's put a little bit more in here. I think I've made up way too much. And I'm just going to go carefully because I've got to make sure it doesn't overflow into the rest of the mould too much. So you know how this resin here was flowing in, in there? I thought what I might do is, actually I'm just going to take a little bit more out. I took a bit, took some resin out. Um, so yeah, it, it kept on wanting to flow in there. So what I thought I would do is just reduce the amount of resin that's in there at the moment. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my white mica powder and I'm just going to paint or dust in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do and because I've taken out some of the resin um, it's a bit shallow here and there and there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dust those areas there with my white I think I'm going to put a little bit of the pale blue in here 
and there, and I'm going to put some more of this on. Right, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so this one is the Pearl X Micro Pearl. It's just a nice little shimmery, shimmery white, and I'm just going to pop some in there and dust it on. That way, if the steel grey goes over, at least I'll have that little bit of white shimmer there. Okay, so that was what I was thinking. And look, you can do what I did with the gold one, the gold cross, and just, you know, to be sure, just dust the whole thing with your mica powders and then pour this in. But I just wanted to see if this was a better option, but it might not be. <laughs> But at least I won't get the white under the steel grey now because I was worried that I was going to get white under the, the grey and I didn't want that. So that's why I thought I'd do it this way. But maybe pour a bit in, dust the lower areas um, and then just wait and then do the rest later. So maybe, you know, a little bit of both techniques, I think, would work well. So I'm just doing this, as you can see, just these low parts here. The... Wings actually go up the side of the, the mould. It's a really pretty mould. So glad you like it. So just make sure that when you're dusting, you go up the sides as well. Okay? Because when you take it out, it's going to be up here as well. See? On the, not just doing the base, you're doing up the side of the mould as well. So make sure that you do that. All right, that's all I'm going to do for that white. Um, now, like I said, I'm going to put a little bit of this blue on. Look how pretty that is. It is Winter's Dusk and it's by Art Tree Creations. I'll just clean this off. I have got a bigger brush which I'll use later but I'm only doing a little area so. And I just thought these colours would look pretty together so they're just going to be the outer the outer wings or feathers in this colour. Like so. See how the mica powder has gone over the top of that grey now? So if the grey wasn't there, um, the blue would be going into where the cross is. Try not to put too much mica on because then you know you've got overflow so you'd rather off having just a little bit put a bit on and tap it off and again get up the sides of your mold I think that'll do now this little bit on the side here as well make sure you get up into that little section there with your blue or whatever color you're Feathers is going to be on the inside and then, or on the outside, and then on the inside will be the, the steel grey. Okay? So, um, let's do this little bit here as well. And then I'll pour some of my grey in, just as well I've got some left, hey? I was thinking, what am I going to do with all of this? And you can always touch up later with your, your blue. Um, because once the, once the grey is set, we'll come back and we'll do proper dusting. But this is just for now, just to get us to a stage where we can put a little bit more of the grey in. Okay, so that's it. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to pour some more in. And then I won't have to worry about it going over the, the edge because it'll be covered. I don't need a lot. I just want to make sure I've got this whole cross area covered because up here there's not much up this top point here okay so it probably will you know run a bit into the feathers but I do want to make sure I've got some into that little point there as well clean my hands in a minute you know when I started doing resin um, I used to get reactions 
but it was a different resin. I don't get a reaction with this particular resin. Not that you should be, you know, sticking your fingers in it, but I mean, I always make sure that I wipe my hands really, really well with, I wash them with alcohol and a baby wipe and then still going over and then I um, wash them with hot soap and water. Pop another pop stick under that one. Still running down that side. Okay, um, now I can't really, I can't really do anything with that one because um, if I wipe it, I might wipe the mica powder away. So there we go. Uh, I will come back now when that's had a chance to set and we'll do the next stage. So I mixed up my resin and uh, I was about to put some white into it and then I thought, hang on a minute, if I put white in it, when you look at the sides here of the where the cross is black, you're going to see half grey and half white, or the grey will be on this side and then the white will be on the other side and I thought, well that's going to look really weird. So. I'm going to just do the same colour, that dark grey. The only problem, well, the only, not a problem, the only concern I had was what it was going to do over the white, but hopefully the white will stay white, like when we peel it out, and then the grey will be on the other side. But you know what I mean? Like, I just think having it grey down there and then white on the sides there, it's not going to look nice. So we'll stick to just the one colour. It's a bit of a learning curve, isn't it, when you're doing something new, when you're using a new mold, not quite sure how it all works. Now I'm just going to do this over here because I don't want to get mica on my mold. So I'm just, I did two big scoops in there and I'll stir that up gently. I'll put my hand like this <laughs> so we're not going to get it in there. But you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that'd be better. I think, I think it'll still look nice. I'm not exactly sure how the white will look with a grey background, but we'll see. We shall see. And I'd also like to try one with maybe a navy blue cross and um, some white with gold on it. Instead of having like blue down here, I'd have gold. I think that would look really pretty too. But what do you think? Do you have any colour combinations that you think would look nice for this mould? So the other thing is, I should tell you, I've made up, this is still the Platinum 360 Plus because it sets up nice and quick as you saw. That was like two hours. Um, so I mixed up 150 grams of A and 65 grams of B, which gives me 215 grams. I wasn't sure how much to actually use, so I popped that on the scale and it weighed 276. So I thought, well, I probably used about 76 
for the, the grey that's in there, I needed another 200. So I just went just over the 200. I'd rather have a little bit more than not enough. So that's what I came up with. So about 75 for the first layer of the cross and then 215 grams for the top up. Let's see how close I get to my calculation thing. All right, here we go. So basically now all we're doing is pouring it in. I don't have to worry about overflowing anything. Just gonna pour it in and bring it up to the top. Level with the sides of the mold. Hopefully I've got enough. <laughs> Just don't go too quick in case, you know, you've made a bit too much and then you overflow everything. So just do it slowly. And you can use um, a little pop stick or a little silicone stick to get, you know, push the resin into the, the corners there. I'm just going to... While that's settling, I'm just going to clean up my, my stick. And clean up here while it's moving. It will find its own level, so we'll just let it do that for a sec. And then I'll go in with my little silicone tip. Just... Make sure we've got into all those little points there. Need a little bit more resin. Oh, this is going to be so pretty, you guys. I think it will. I think these colours will just be stunning. Okay, so that's all my little corners filled up. So let's pop a little bit more in. Just fill the mould a little bit more. It's up to you if you want to make it really full and have it doming or whether you just want to have it level. Righto guys, it's the time to unmould. It's 9pm uh, and as always I'm way too excited to wait till morning. So let's get him out, see what it's going to look like. I'll hold it this way because that way it doesn't really fit in my screen very well. All right, let's poke that through. Now, no peeking, all right, no peeking at the sides. We'll look together. I won't peek, you don't peek. Push that, there we go. Oh, yep, comes out easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no problems at all. Look at that. Ooh, and I haven't even got any overflow anywhere, have I? Mmm. All right. Mold is clean. Tiny little bit of mica just on the outside there, uh, which I will wipe with um, a baby wipe. All right. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Are we ready? What do you think it's going to look like? What do you reckon? Oh, I have no idea. All right, let's do this. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. I was not expecting it to be like that. The wings, they've taken on this. Let me bring you in. The, the wings, even though they were white, they've taken on like a silver hue. Because they've got that grey behind them. So this is why I had no idea what it was going to do, having the grey behind it. But you can see there, it's, it's, it's a shimmery, sort of a steel, greyish, silverish colour, isn't it? Oh, that matches really nicely though with this steel blue colour. And then that pale silvery and then that darker steel grey there. Oh, I love it. What do you guys think? I'll bring you in for a bit of a close-up so that you can see the detail a little bit closer. So it's one of these things where I think it looks 
nicer when it's got this slightly antique look like I personally wouldn't go back and put shiny silver on I think it's just gorgeous the way it is I don't think we need to have a real shine there's the side you can see the the blue there on the edges of the wings There's the end. Look at that shimmer. And there's the other side. Blue again along the edges there. But it's a silver blue, isn't it? I think that the colours have turned out really pretty. I mean, I did want white, but looking at it now, I, th I think it just looks so elegant and stunning. I guess the only way to get white wings is to put a white background on. I'll have to have a think about how I can do that and still have the... Actually, you know, the only way... I think the only way I can do that is to um, paint, not paint, like brush mica on the cross. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to have a think about it. If you've got any ideas let me know because you know I want this one color and I want that one color and I want this a different color <laughs> oh my gosh I love it alrighty there you go I'm happy now I can go to bed happy not that I'm going to bed just yet but look at the shimmer it's really pretty isn't it from that mica so you guys let me know what you think of it and let me know if there's any other colors you would like me to try um, yeah, I, like I said, I do want to do the gold and the navy. I'm not quite sure what to do the, the wings in. All right, I'll leave it at that. Thank you ever so much for watching again. Hope you're enjoying my videos. And um, I really, really love this one. It's beautiful. I'll get the other one. It's underneath the table. There it is. There we go, matching pair. <laughs> all right. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.